All right, so in this lesson, I want to talk about something called prefetching data. And that is a way that we can tell SvelteKit to go off and prefetch some data that we might need for the page that a user is about to go to. Now, before we talk about how to do this, I want to demonstrate that when we click on a link to a particular ID, if you like, so when we click on one of those titles in the index page over here, and we go to this page, SvelteKit actually runs all of this code to fetch the data before we actually go to that page. Once we get the data back and it's injected it into the template, we see that new template in the browser. It actually takes us to that new page. But until it has that data, until it's run all this code and it gives us that data down here, we don't actually see the page. And I want to demonstrate that first of all, because this kind of highlights why prefetching is important. So let me just paste this line of code in and all we're doing is basically just awaiting a new promise. So inside the promise, we pass a function and we get the resolve function inside that. Then we set a timeout to call that resolve function after a thousand milliseconds, so 1000 seconds, and we await this. So don't worry if you don't know what this is too much. All we're basically doing here is forcing the code to wait for about a second before it runs the rest of the code and before it tries to fetch the data. So now we know that running all of this code is going to take at least, at least a second, plus however long it takes to fetch this data, right? And so when we click on a title from the guide's index page, one of these titles, it's going to run this code first, and it's going to wait a second, then fetch the data, and then when it gets the data and injects it into the template, then we see the new page in the browser. So obviously now there's going to be a delay by a second. So let me show you that in the browser. All right then, so now watch this. If I was to click on a link, then we'll have a little delay before we get directed to the next page. Watch this, click. And you see that delay? There was a one second delay, then however long it took to fetch the data, then we see the page, right? Now, in reality, we're not gonna have a one second delay. We're not going to purposely do that to users. However, in some cases, requests to get data or information from another API can take longer than just a JSON placeholder because there might be more going on in the background. So a way we can kind of get around this problem is by prefetching the data. When a user hovers over a link, we might be thinking, well, they could click on that link and go to that page. So at this point, when you hover over a link, then we could say, okay, go out and prefetch the data that's needed for this page in the background. And so therefore, if it starts to fetch and it starts all of that code, it's gonna finish sooner. So by the time the user clicks on the link, it might already have it all back. And it's more instant, the transition from one page to another then. So how do we do this? Well, it's actually pretty simple to do. I'm gonna to go to the guides index page where we have the links to the guides. And it's these links that we want to prefetch the data for when a user hovers over them. So if they hover over a link with the ID of three, then it's gonna run the code over here to get that particular post with the ID of three. So that by the time I click on the link, it might already have it and it's more instant. So in order to do this, all we have to do is add a directive, SvelteKit, and then a colon, and then prefetch like that. And that's it. That's all we need to do. And now this is telling SvelteKit to prefetch the data whenever we hover over a link to a different component. So now let's give this a whirl in a browser. All right then, so first of all, I'm gonna refresh the page for good measure. And then I'm just gonna hover over a link. And in fact, before I do that, let me open up the console and I'm gonna to go to the network tab. And right now we don't see anything. Now, if I hover over something, then we can see it's performed a network request for this component right here id.svelte and it's run the code inside that and you can see down here number one that's the id of this item and so we've gone out and we've fetched that data already so now if we click on this there'll be no delay because it's already run that function and it doesn't need to do it again so click on it and it's instant and the same would be true for other components if we hover over this and then just wait a second now we can see number three it's got the data and we click on it and it's instantaneous so that, my friends, is how we prefetch data for components that a user is about to navigate to.